this video we will be creating uh, two windows and then uh, using a button and an event listener to uh, change between the two windows so if you have been following my uh, video series all I did was you can either create a new project or you can just delete your app.js I basically screwed up my saved file and then I had to create a new project so I just called it my first project it's a default project and I deleted what was inside so don't worry if you have or haven't been following my video uh, series on this all you need to do is just create a new project or delete whatever's in app.js so let's create a first window because we are creating two windows, let's call one of them var win1 equals uh, tie.ui.create window. And in order to differentiate between the two windows, we are going to say uh, the background color of this one is going to be yellow. I like yellow. Oh, semicolon is not here, over here. And let's create another one called win2. Let's say tie.ui.create window. And inside it, let's change not Gorand background color. Uh, too many typos to blue. And semicolon is not over there, but over here. Okay. Now let's create two views to put into our each of our windows. So view one and view two. So tie.ui dot create view. And we don't need anything inside. So that's it. And uh, not view var view2 equals tie.ui.create view like so and the semicolon <coughs> now we will be creating a button and an add event listener so uh, var button1 equals tie.ui.create button and inside here let's t add the title uh, I don't know let's call it open window2 and the comma and the top could be about 200 the width of the button because we have a relatively long title let's say 150 and the height could be I don't know about 32 35 ish and the semicolon at the end and let's say button one dot add event listener and the usual uh, it says over here and the name of the event and the callback function so the name is going to be just a simple click and the callback function is going to be function e and then inside that let's say because uh, we want to use this button one to open windows 2 we are going to open win 2 <coughs> now I will copy and paste this button one oops what is it button one and the event listener so that I don't have to like write everything and all I need to do is go over here and change this to button two and let's change the title to close windows two and let's change the add event listener to button two dot and over here to win two dot close there we go now that we have two windows two views and two buttons like over here it's neatly it neatly says we have two windows two views and two buttons we need to add uh, the button to our view so view one dot add button one and view two dot add button two and then we say uh, win one with one dot add view one and oh, win two dot add view two like so and make sure to uh, include at the end win one dot open many times too many times when I was actually practicing uh, or playing around with titanium that I forgot to do win one dot open and the iOS simulator loads normally and it's like the first initial screen of says the red background and the titanium logo and says powered by titanium is loading but my application isn't loading and I didn't know why and I was half panicking saying Titan Studio was screwing up with me or something but then I realized that when one dot open or I forgot to add this code at the end so I was being really stupid now well, let's uh, save a work and run our simulator hopefully this time it's going to work uh, there we go, iOS simulator, let's put it middle-ish 
application started there we go we have our initial uh, win one with a yellow background and we have a button it says open window 2 and when I click on it the background changes or technically the window changes to win 2 which has a background of uh, blue and if I click this which is button 2 it goes back to windows 1 now this uh, from this point onwards this is mainly going to be like an extra two minutes for uh, Mac users because this I'm going to be adding something an animation to this open which is only going to be uh, working on uh, iPhone so it's sorry to any uh, Windows users or any one who's only interested in creating Android apps but uh, I will still I'm going to do it anyway now, if we go to button one dot add event listener, even if you're only a Windows user, you can uh, listen to it just for like learning purposes, because there's going to be similar ones just for Android as well. So if I go to button one dot add event listener, and then go to win to the open inside this brackets in the open, what we could do is add something. So we're going to add a curly brackets and press enter so that it does automatically the nice indent thing for you and what we're going to do is say transition is tie.ui.iphone so it's going to be only for iphone dot animation style dot and then flip from left this one flip from oops left like so okay and let's go to uh, win 2close and do the same thing so curly brackets and enter and whoop, transition tie dot ui dot uh, iphone dot animation style dot flip from left there we go now let's save our work and run our iphone simulator it's launching and hopefully it's going to work Let's play over here. Yep. And when I click on open Windows 2, it's going to flip. And when I click on close Windows 2, it's going to flip again. So it's got this neat effect. Now, if you're only creating when you're actually like creating your uh, full on app uh, for iPhone, then this is perfectly fine. But when you're creating it for both iPhone and Android, you need to add an if statement to check that uh, this the user is uh, using an iPhone in order to do this code otherwise it's going to be an error so over here in uh, the button one dot add event listener we need to create and button two we need to create an if statement to check whether or not uh, the user is using an iPhone or Android so let's give it some space and say if and inside here tie dot platform dot os name which is really easy equals iphone there and just like our normal javascript thing we are going to have uh something inside here which is going to be this win2 dot open so over here there we go i think there's too much space i don't need it uh, and let's indent this OCD kicking in like so yep and then over here what we could do is else so if it's not an OS uh, I mean an iPhone user so uh, an Android user what we are going to do is over here we will say win2 dot open just like usual so that it opens the window with no uh, what do you call it errors because we don't want this tie.ui.iphone.animationstyle.flip from left to work when uh, on an android user so uh, because this video is relatively long now I'm not going to do this for the button 2 however all you need to do is just basically copy and paste the if the platform the OS name the iPhone and then uh, just 
uh, playing around with this a bit more and do if it is do the transition if it isn't just do the win dot two a uh, win two dot close now let's actually there's not much point in running the simulator is it or let's just do it so that there's no errors because uh, visually nothing's going to change I can actually run the Android emulator so that you can see that this is going not going to work but the Android em emulator takes like three minutes to uh, like build itself so I'm not going to do it and there we go everything's working perfectly